gosh, it's been a minute since we've been here on Facebook Live, and today I'm teaming up with my friends at Serve Turkey to bring you these epic turkey bolognese stuffed pasta shells. That is such a mouthful. Anyways, I'm home from all my travels. We are back. We're kicking off Facebook Live every Wednesday, 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. If you're just tuning in, comment where you're watching from so I know where in the world you are. Um, when I was in Greece last week, I met one of my readers from Kuwait. It was like the, basically the highlight of my life. Anyways, ground turkey meat is something that's like near and dear to my heart. It's low, I mean, it's lean protein, so it's really good, which is what I'm trying to do after Greece because I need to like work off some of those calories I ate. And it's healthy and I love it. So today we're making a turkey bolognese. We're stuffing it into like cooked pasta shells like these are giant shells and then when they cook up they get even bigger also we're filming facebook live on this new little toy we got it's called a gimbal and you can like move around with it so i'm very excited about this also can you guys hear me is anyone watching hi hmm. it's so weird not to be able to see the comments while i'm doing this it's very odd okay anyways this is what the pasta shells are going to look like we'll go ahead and get started and if you guys have any questions while we're going about this about my travels about anything Shout them out in the comments below. All right, to get started, we're gonna take a, I mean, this is a pretty massive onion, basically the size of my head. A big onion, cut it in half, and just peel the outer layer of skin out. And like sometimes if it's still a little like funky, you just peel one more layer out, no big deal. Perfect. So we'll do that to both sides of the onion. And then, We'll get going. What have you guys been up to? Have you been doing some like major summer cooking? By the way, this is one of my favorite weeknight meals. So if you want to like be the rock star of all your friends, you can share this video and spread the word. Everyone, like this is such a crowd pleaser, I can't even deal. Okay, so we're just gonna take our knife and give this onion a rough chop. Just like small pieces of onion because once we get this going into making our turkey bolognese, we want the turkey, the ground turkey meat to kind of be the star and the onion just like kind of is extra flavor. We'll give this a quick dice. Thomas, you have to ask me any questions if they come up. No questions so far. You guys are so quiet today. It's been a minute. I know we haven't been here. Also, if you have like requests of other summer fun recipes you want to see on Facebook Live in the coming weeks, shout them out below. Okay, so our onions prepped. Let's just prep our garlic and then we'll head over to the stove. I, this is kind of like a small head of garlic, so I think we should do three cloves. We'll just get this cleared out. And we're just going to take our knife and smash the garlic cloves like this and then carefully peel the paper off. Will you be in Portland along with Seattle? Oh, who said that? That was Jessica Adams. Hi Jessica. I'm not going to be in Portland this time. I'm just going to be in Seattle, so I'm sorry. But my best friend is having a baby and she lives in Portland and where does she live? I think she's in like the Pearl District or something and I've decided that I should deliver her child, not really, but um, I'll be in Portland when the baby's born, so we'll probably do an event later this summer, because that's in August. Annette wants to know who your videographer is. It's Thomas, my husband. He's sick, so he's home from work today, so I've recruited him to do to do the video. It won't be like this every time, unless I can like convince him to work from home forever. Okay. So Where is your salt dish from? Oh my god, you guys, I love these questions. William Sonoma. I'll post a link on Twitter when we're done with this. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. Annette okay. wants to know if you're coming to the DC area. Um, no plans as of yet, but I am gonna come to New York later this summer for some parties. So maybe I can like take the train down to DC after the New York after the New York parties. We'll see. I gotta plan some things. I'm trying to stay put in LA for more than like two consecutive days because between South Africa and Botswana and Greece. Like, I, my body needs a little bit of a reset. Heidi wants to know what you're gonna be doing in Seattle. Oh, we're having a salsa party for my salsas that launched a couple months ago at Williamson on the next Thursday. I'll post all the information when we're done with this. Okay, so you wanna come over here? Yep. So over here, we have just a big Dutch oven. 
we're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil into the bottom. And then to that, we are going to add the, all the onion. Let's see if I can bring this over without spilling all over my floor. Probably not, we'll see. And we're just gonna saute the onion for like a minute or two and get it to start sweating out. And meanwhile, we'll season that with a little seasoning situation. So give that a quick stir and we'll let it start to cook. And meanwhile, over here, I'm just gonna bring over some salt, red pepper flakes, um, Italian seasoning and pepper. And we're just gonna go ahead and season that right into the onions. So all these herbs and everything infuse the olive oil and everything as we go. Why do you love this Dutch oven so much? Oh my God, it's my favorite Dutch oven in the entire world. Look how big it is. It's massive and I cook everything in it. I boiled off the pasta in it this morning before we're doing this mixture. Like it's kind of this all purpose pot that just is my dream. And I, I have a whole, like, come look over here. I have this whole cabinet of things and like I never use any of them anymore. It's really sad. All my wedding gifts have gone to waste. Okay, so salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning are all in the onions. And we're gonna give that a quick toss and let it cook down probably for about another two minutes before we add the ground turkey meat. And I'm using ground turkey meat, just the white meat. You could also use dark meat, um, but I just grabbed some at my local market this morning and that's what they have. And it's a little bit leaner, so while I try to be slightly healthy, after all my travels, that's what I'm going for. But I will say dark turkey meat is incredible and I use it all the time. It makes really good like ground turkey tacos. How many nights a week would you say you cook at home? when you aren't traveling, of course. How many nights do I cook at home when I'm not traveling? Um, I do like a big cook every Sunday, so then we have like stuff to eat throughout the week for lunches. Like I'll do, um, I don't know, like something like this and then I can make it last throughout the week. Um, but I would say I probably cook three or four nights a week. Does that feel right to you? Yeah. Yeah. But like I love, I love easy meals. Like, you know. If I have some leftover turkey bolognese, I'll just throw it into some quinoa or like something like that. And it's not really cooking because I had cooked the previous day, but whatever. So how does this compare to the Le Creuset? I like this better than the Le Creuset. I mean, I just think this is easier Why? to clean. And it just, it, it just feels, it's not as heavy as the Le Creuset. Like Le Creuset are really, you know, they weigh a lot. And I just think it's beautiful. Like, I really like the blue color Le Creuset I got, but now I'm just really into this. Okay, I just threw some garlic in. And the reason we add garlic now and not at the end, because onions take longer to cook than garlic, and basically every recipe in the entire world will say, add your onions and your garlic at the same time. And then your garlic always burns, and that's so upsetting. So I like to saute my onions for a few minutes before the garlic goes in. That way everything is at like the peak of flavor. Okay, so now that that's all in, we're gonna take our ground turkey meat. Just, you know, about a pound of it, a little bit over, a little bit under is no big deal. And throw it right on top. Put that in the sink. And then we're gonna take our wooden spoon and just break it all up. So it can cook evenly and we're just going to cook this completely through. We don't want any pink remaining. And then we can move on and turn it into our bolognese. And like a regular traditional bolognese would take hours to make. Nobody has time for that on a weeknight. So this is my kind of quick fix for dinner. Just make sure everything is evenly incorporated. And then we'll probably just give this a little extra seasoning with some salt and pepper. See, isn't my salt and salt, what is, salt cellar cute? They have them also, I think you can get them um, with your initials on them. One day I'll upgrade to that. Okay, toss everything. Really mix it all together. And then on top of this, once it's done, we're gonna add a bunch of tomato, like a tomato basil sauce that I bought. And like, 
Then once that's over, you could eat this as is, but we're turning it into something even more special. You know, my mom used to make stuffed shells when I was a kid, and it was basically like the highlight of my week. I just think it's a fun, it's a fun way to serve food. So that's kind of what inspired this recipe. Where are you guys tuning in from? And what are you doing this summer? Is anyone traveling and going anywhere cool? We, like I said, and I think most of you probably knew, we went to Greece, we got back from Greece last week, and we were in South Africa and Botswana a few weeks ago, and now we're done for a while. Like, we'll be in Seattle next week for fun, but then I think we're, we're here for at least a couple more weeks. Is anyone sharing their adventures? Not yet. You guys. We're gonna cook this really well. Maybe we'll add a little bit more Italian seasoning. I have Iowa, Tucson. Tucson? You guys, did you know they're from Tucson? Who said that? Uh, Megan Schmidt. Megan, did we go to high school together? Florida. We, I think we might have. Do you cook your shells in advance? If so, how do you keep them fresh? Yeah, so here, we can give this a little break. Come look over here. Ontario, Europe, Houston. Oh, okay. Come here, babe. So I cooked these pasta shells about an hour ago, and, and I just drained them off. But you can see they're like kind like down here, they're kind of starting to stick together. So to keep them fresh and not sticking, I just run some water over them and give them a little bit of a toss, and that'll loosen them all up. And then just make sure all the water is shaken out. And we can put this on our cutting board for now. And then once it's time to stuff the turkey in them, it'll be eat really easy. Heidi went to Italy. It was amazing. Where She's in from it? Seattle. No way. Where in Italy did you go, Heidi? We went last year, and I ate gelato maybe four times a day. Totally normal, right? Okay, this looks, it's moving along. You always want to make sure your turkey is cooked to at least 165 degrees. That means you're good to go. And the other thing I really love about turkey meat, like I feel like some people think it's only acceptable at Thanksgiving. We buy it, not joking, at least once a week. It's so, Thomas loves it when he's like being really healthy because of the protein. And it's so delicious. It can take on so many different flavors. You can turn it into tacos, you can make it Italian. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you guys have any favorite turkey recipes, will you shout them out in the comments below so I know what's up? I love hearing your favorites. Samantha is tuning in with her daughters while eating lunch in Milwaukee, and she's curious when you are coming to Williams-Sonoma in the Midwest. Hi! I mean, that's so cute. You're watching with your kids. Um, I don't know. How close is Milwaukee to Chicago? I should know this. Like, that was Geography 101, right? Um, I'm probably going to be in Chicago in August, so if I can swing it, I would do it while I'm in that area. But I really should know how close that is to Chicago. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay, take a look at this turkey. It is, there is no pink remaining. Like it is beautiful and gorgeous. And we are going to just stay right here and I'm gonna grab my tomato basil sauce. And this is a big jar. I'm not gonna pour the whole thing in. I'll probably pour just up, like I'll leave that much remaining. I'll show you why in a minute. So give that, put that in there. Let's put this over here and then give this all a stir. And like I said earlier, that was a tomato basil pasta sauce that I just got from my market, but you could get any kind you want. Like they have four cheese tomato sauces, you name it. What are some of your other favorite turkey recipes? Oh my gosh, I'm posting a recipe tomorrow for these tacos and you can use ground turkey meat. And the, and the recipe is for a DIY taco seasoning. It's out of this world. Um, what else do I use taco meat? I mean, turkey meat for? Meatballs or turkey balls? Oh yeah, balls. oh I made, oh, that was last night. How yeah. did I not remember that? Last night I made these sun-dried tomato turkey summer meatballs with the pasta. It's going on the blog in I think two or three weeks. And it had like all these sun-dried tomatoes and Parmesan cheese mixed in. Oh man, really good. It was inspired by a recipe that's going into my cookbook because I had turkey burgers coming into my next cookbook. Okay. Oh, Alejandra's tuning in from Prague. Oh, hi! You know Prague's one of my favorite places in the whole world. Okay, so this is done. I'm going to not burn myself and move this over here. You can go back over there. 
it's so fun doing Facebook Live with someone else here. I'm not just like talking to myself. Normally I'm literally here talking to myself. And I'm always so nervous that like someone's gonna ring the doorbell while I'm here. You get the idea. Okay, so now we have our three comp or two components and a dish. And we're just gonna put a little bit of the tomato sauce in the bottom of this. And then take a spoon and just smush it all around. And then we're going to start assembling. Okay, so here's the deal. We are going to take one, tur one shell, one pasta shell, and take a scoop of the turkey mixture and just put it right in there. And then put these, like that side up, in our dish. How do I want to arrange this? Do you use a special type of pasta like imported from Italy? Oh, I mean, no, I'm not that fancy, but you certainly could. I just got this this morning from Whole Foods. Um, these jumbo stuffed shells are not at every grocery store. Like, I don't know what your guys' local grocery stores are, but like they have them at Whole Foods, they have them at Ralph's. Um, when I tested this recipe originally, I was up in Seattle and I got them at Safeway. So, you know, any kind of pasta works, just make sure it's the jumbo shells. And if you can't find the jumbo shells, no sweat, you could make this, excuse me, as it is, and just cook off some of the medium shells and then toss it all together. I mean, the presentation won't be quite as awesome, if I say so myself, but it'll still be pretty cool. Okay, so we're just gonna pound through all of these. I think we'll probably fit like 12 in here and normally I serve like three or four per person so and this makes a lot like that what we're cooking on Facebook live today will serve three to four people like I said but you could this recipe I you could double triple you could really go for it you could serve a huge crowd and it's really good for a quick and easy weeknight meal and if you have kids you can get them into the kitchen making this with you like how fun would that be and then you don't have to do all the work yourself <laughs> okay Let's keep rolling. And then after this, is oh, after we have all these stuff, normally you would put some Parmesan cheese and mozzarella on these and bake them off, but they bake for 15 to 20 minutes and I thought you guys might get bored. So we're just gonna throw some fresh mozzarella on top of them and broil them for a hot second. That way you have, it's the same thing, it just doesn't take quite as long. And then you could finish them with uh, freshly torn basil, if that's your jam. But last night I made a basil vinaigrette for part of those uh, turkey meatballs I was telling you about. So I'm gonna drizzle a little basil vinaigrette on top. Okay, a couple more. And then we'll move on. Do I have any more of the tomato sauce? Okay, good, I have a little bit left. Any other questions? What are people saying? Are they just watching? Quiet right now. Oh, okay. Do you guys like this new camera situation or do you like it when it's totally still? And can you hear me okay? I'm assuming you can't if no one said anything. Is this recipe a part of the piece of cake detox? <laughs> I mean, the piece of cake detox was designed so there can be two splurges. So this recipe is actually pretty healthy. So I would say, yeah, it can be a part of the detox. Maybe just don't eat all the cheese like I normally do. But that detox is gonna be my like favorite thing about the next couple weeks. All right, so the, let's move this out of the way. These are all in. I'm just gonna spoon a little bit more of the turkey mixture on top of these. So they're like really full. And then. This shooting cell seems more personable. Oh, okay, cool. Well, guess what, Thomas? You're gonna have to be home with me all the time now. All right, so these are good to go. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of fresh mozzarella, just like a ball of it. This is like so oddly therapeutic to me. And just tear it off and then tear it into small pieces. Because we're broiling this, we don't want like giant fat chunks of mozzarella. So like little pieces of mozzarella totally work. We're just gonna put that all on the top. And then we can put a little bit more salt and pepper on there also. Also, like you could throw some more Italian seasoning on there, red pepper flakes. I had a reader email me a few weeks ago saying she's never gone through red pepper flakes quite as fast as she has now that she's been following the West Gobby cooking recipes because I literally put them in everything. We just like things a little spicy. Okay, 
So that's perfect. So let's just throw this into the oven for, I'm gonna put it on broil. You can stay over there if you want. And it's just gonna go in for like two minutes. And meanwhile, we'll have it, we have our basil vinaigrette over here. I feel like we should try the turkey mixture, right? Let's do it. It's probably cool enough now, I won't burn my tongue. I mean, so easy. That over pasta, rice, quinoa, farro, uh, cauliflower rice. Oh, you could do that over cauliflower rice and that would be really piece of cake detox friendly. So you could use the rest of that over cauliflower rice. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pack it up right now because we have cauliflower rice in the, freezer, in the refrigerator. I don't know where the top of all mine. Do you always keep a stone in the oven? Yeah, that's my pizza stone. And it just lives in there because if you looked at all my drawers, which I'm not gonna show you right now, there I have way too many cooking utensils. Like every time I get something, Thomas makes me throw something away because it's just a little aggressive. But yeah, the pizza stone stays in there. I bake or cook everything on it. Like cookies can go on it, you name it. It just makes everything cook really evenly. Okay, so that we're gonna let cool for a little bit before we put in the refrigerator. And then we can use that over cauliflower rice later today or tomorrow. And this will last in the fridge for a couple days. And then here's our basil vinaigrette. And if you guys haven't tried the basil vinaigrette, holy moly, your life might change. It's just basil, shallots, garlic, olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt and pepper in the blender. And I use it on everything it's especially delicious on something like this because there's already so many italian flavors from the turkey mixture jackpot let's check out the recipe you'll link to for the vinaigrette oh yeah i'll throw the basil vinaigrette recipe up in the comments section and i'll put the link up to the stuffed shelves as soon as as soon as we're done here is the turkey freezer friendly yeah i freeze turkey all the time like you can once it i never like to put things in the freezer hot so I'll let this cool to room temperature and then put a top on it and it could last in the freezer for a couple weeks. Although, full transparency, nothing lasts in the freezer for me for more than a few weeks because we eat it. But like, that's normal, right? I mean, I guess if you were, that's a good idea. If you were like really prepping ahead, all my friends are having babies right now, so you could make something like this for them and then stick it in the freezer and they could use it in the next couple of months while they're going through like newborn madness. Okay, let me get this out. Can you use the vinaigrette on salads? Yeah, I use it as a salad dressing all the time. I put it on pasta, I put it on quinoa, I throw it on fish. I mean, you name it. Okay, cheese is melted. Let's just take a little bit of this basil vinaigrette and drizzle it on top. I mean, how gorgeous. Does that look pretty on camera? Yeah. It looks pretty to my eyes, so. <laughs> all right, that's good to go. Let me get a little pepper, because more is more, and a little bit of my Maldon sea salt. I'll turn my oven off because I always forget. Ta-da! I mean, how cool does that look? That's gorgeous. You tell me you wouldn't want to serve that to a dinner party. I mean, now we have to try it, and let's hope I don't burn my tongue. I'm going to take a piece. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna try not to, if I, if I scream, it's because I burned my tongue. Mm? <laughs> nope, that's delicious. And I'm okay, because I only broiled it for a few minutes. Mmm, so good. And there you have it, tough stuffed tur Bol turkey bolognese stuffed pasta shells. I mean, I told you it was a tongue twister. Any other questions? Why do you think turkey isn't used as often as chicken or beef in recipes? Because I think people just don't know what to do with it all the time. And now you have recipes like this or the tacos I'm posting tomorrow or the meatballs I'm posting in a couple weeks. I mean, ground turkey meat you can use you can use for any recipe that calls for ground chicken. So you kind of have endless possibilities. And I love it. It's really good for you too. Any other questions? Okay. If you guys have any other questions after we're live, if you're watching this later, ask them in the comments below. I will respond to everyone, don't you worry. I will get you the links for this recipe, for the basil vinaigrette, for the crock, for the Dutch oven. Did I own anyone? Anyways, I'll go back and I'll watch it and I'll give you whatever you guys need. 
And thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys soon.